Before this video starts, I just want to say to jailbreak against your own risk and to not blame us if anything happens to your iPod. This is completely against your own risk. Nothing should happen, but if something does go wrong and we can't fix it, we don't want to be getting in trouble. Thank you. What's up guys, it's Nick from DV Reviews, and today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your iPod Touch second generation, as I have here. You can see it's second generation, because I'm running 3.0 on it. Um, on a Mac computer, um, using the application Red Snow, so that I can get, so that you can get Cydia. See, now you can see I'm running 3.0, voice memos. So yeah. I'm going to show you how to jailbreak it so it can look like this with Cydia. Alright, now the first thing you want to do is um, make a folder. Oh, whoops. Is make a folder and name it Ponage. That's the first thing you want to do. Um, I've already made one though, so let me just get this. I'm just going to drag this here and replace it. Alright, and um, inside of that folder, you're going to want two things. The application Red Snow and the uh, iPod 3.0 firmware. A link to that. I'll have a link to both those in the description. Basically, you copy-paste the link um, from that. And you like click it and it'll bring it onto your uh, desktop and you can just drag it into there. And you want to have both of those things in that folder. Now after you've done that you want to connect your iPod whoops sorry that was something else you want to connect your iPod to iTunes I have it connected right now it's plugged in it's just not going to be coming up but the reason you want to connect it is so that you can restore it now I'm saying to restore it because that's how you're going to have to um that's the main thing you have to do to jailbreak this iPod so that you don't have any like extra like uh, it's crammed with space you want to have a restore that makes it a lot more easier that's one of the risks of uh, jailbreaking this though if you don't want to do that stop this video because I don't want to uh, be held liable if your iPod breaks or anything actually I'm probably going to put a warning at the beginning of this video but yeah so restore your iPod and um yeah, so that's what you have to do. Well, you have to do that to jailbreak it. If you don't want to jailbreak it, then don't. Alright, now what you want to do is go to Red Snow. And you want to open that up. And then you want to click Browse. And once you click Browse, it already did it for me. But what you want to do is you want to go to Desktop, Ponage, and just click the iPod uh, 3.0 and click Open. It'll say Processing Firmware. Let it process for a minute, and then it'll say, yeah, ISPW, IPSW, I identified. Then you do this, and it downloads all this stuff, patch and kernel, the RAM. All right, then you want to click install Cydia, not IC, just install Cydia, and you click next. Then you have to make sure that you do this. You take your iPod. and slide to power off. Let that go off. Little spinny thing. This is my old iPod by the way. I've already done it with my new. And it's off. Now once that's done and it's plugged in, you can click next and you want to hold this and then hold the um, home button too. This is putting it in DFU mode. And then you keep holding the home button. And now it is jailbreaking your device. You'll see a white screen. Don't worry about that. It's gonna go away. I'll just hold this. Waiting for reboot. 
and you can see it says downloading jailbreak data uploading ram disk and then it's it's almost done it should change in a second this but don't worry if you get this and you're uh, confused uh... rebooting and done now a little picture of a pineapple or something should pop up hold on as you can see it's still doing that downloading jailbreaking sorry i'm doing something over here too so and there it says little pineapple and uh, just let that finish up flashing NOR um, so yeah I'm gonna cut this video I'll get to this when it's done be right back alright guys I'm back and this is almost done it's just syncing the file systems and it says rebooting now it's gonna reboot up you'll see the Apple there you go um, then after that it basically is done you'll have Cydia I'll show you that in a second when it comes up and um, if you have any questions about this feel free to personally message us or leave a comment messaging will probably be better because um, it will just be easier for us to communicate back and forth see then you're done with that slide to unlock and there you have it, Cydia, right there. All you do, click it, and select your Wi-Fi, and that is that. Um, that is basically how to jailbreak your iPod. After that, I recommend going to uh, Cydia Reviews. I uh, touch Reviewer 10's other channel. He'll have some. Uh, he has Cydia like themes and stuff, and basically how to uh, use Cydia. Or you can just check that out on YouTube too. And, um, yep, that is about it for this tutorial on how to jailbreak your iPod Touch second generation while on the 3.0 firmware. So, yeah, if you have any questions, message us or leave a comment, preferably message. And, um, yep, that's about that. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe.